G'day football fans and welcome back to Brentford to Big Time today. It's the end of our first season in charge of Manchester City and look, we've had an absolutely sensational final third of the season or quarter. Recent times have been fantastic and today, not only are we doing a double header where we're playing a Europa League final against uh, uh, Monaco, I should probably be able to remember that because I've it's there's two teams to remember. I think it's Monaco. Anyway, um, also... We're in touching distance of the title. Like, we're not favourites. We're third. But if the two teams ahead of us fall and we beat today's opponents' leads, we win the Premier League. And we will have completed the English leg of our uh, European tour, I guess, um, in one season with Manchester City, which would be sensational. It, look, the odds aren't in our favour, but... We're going to give it a red hot crack anyway. Before we get into it though, make sure you do leave us that like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Comment what you think of the video, what you think we should do for next season. Should we, I mean, if we do win the league, I mean, we're, we'll be off. So you know, you'll have to let me know what sort of teams you want to see me at, what sort of, uh, le what league you want to see next. Because we've, obviously we've done Serie A, we'll have done uh, England or we will have done it in a season's time, hopefully. Within the next year, hopefully. Anyway, um, anyway. Let me know. Anyway, let's get into it. I have too much talking. Let's get into it. Anyway, so this is what the Premier League table is looking like on the final day. Um, obviously, I'll sort of fly through a few things here just because we do have a double header to get through. So there'll be a lot of footage to, to show you. Um, anyway, uh, as you see, we are, we're are two points behind Newcastle. Newcastle have got Aston Villa, who are ninth here. Liverpool have got Southampton, who are 10th and haven't won in their last five games. Uh, uh, that aside... We've got Leeds, uh, who are in 19th. If we beat them, they're gone. We'd also be doing a huge favour to Brentford, our old side, who are now managed by Gennaro Gattuso. They sacked um, uh, Roberto Martinez um, not too long ago, got in uh, Gennaro Gattuso to try and keep him up. He's doing a decent job. How, I don't know how it's gone so poorly for them, because I'm sure last season they were... No, that's... How do we do the... Here we go. No, they were seventh last season. I think we left them there. Is that true? Is that how that works? I'm so confused now. Maybe we finished 10th. No, 10th was our last season. We've... Okay. We took control there. We had three more seasons. They finished 8th and then 7th without us. And now they're down in 7th. I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happened. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is hopefully Aston Miller and Southampton can get wins and we can do our job against Leeds. That's all we can hope for, basically. Um, as for how we've gone since we were last year... Pretty damn sensationally. Um, I don't even remember what the last video was, which is something I probably should know. Um, but it was something, probably. Uh, was it this? It was this. It was the Manchester derby against, uh, obviously, Manchester. Um, we won 3-0. We've then gone on an absolute sensational run. Uh, I, I like, couldn't... I could scarcely believe we were being this good. 4-2 win over Rangers in the second leg. Carpentero, two for Makoko, one for Murato. Murato has been sensational in this run of fixtures. If you look at his uh, profile, he's up to seven goals. He's played a little bit of this holding midfield role, but he's up to seven goals somehow. He's now wanted by Atletico Madrid. I might need to take that price tag. Let's take that price tag off him, because we can get more than that. Anyway, um, we beat Rangers 4-2, got us through to the next round, um, as you see down here against Brentford. 4-1 uh, we beat Leicester, Dembele, 2 for Haaland, 1 for Bernardo, 4-1 then again against Brentford, 2 for Makoko this time, 1 for Silva, 1 for Max Aaron's rare goal. Another hat-trick then for Erling Haaland against Burnley, then the two legs against Brentford back-to-back, 3-0, -back. 2 for Haaland, 1 for Murato, then 2-0, Haaland and Murato again, 1-0 against Chelsea it was, a nice Ruben Diaz goal, I think it was just a header from a corner, nothing interesting like that. 2-0 um, the first leg against Villarreal, Bernardo and Erling. They're too damn good, too damn goddamn good. Um, Danilo then getting the scoring underway for us anyway, um, against Southampton after Bergvine. They put them ahead, then goals in the second half from Haaland, Murato and an own goal. Got us the win there. Then second leg against Villarreal, 1-0 win, Erling Haaland. Simples, 3-0 uh, on aggregate, sending us through to the final against Monaco, as you see at the bottom of the screen here. Before that, though, we had two games. Fulham, we beat 3-1. Haaland, Murato, Danilo, done. Erling Haaland uh, is just, I think he's on 46 goals, maybe? Yep, 41 appearances, 46 goals. So, I mean, in real life, he has better than this. So, but maybe Football Manager is realistic because he's 
very close. I don't know. Anyway, he's been very, very good. Uh, he is very, very good. Uh, he's still wanted by Bayern Munich, um, who, like, it says he's worth 177 to 193. But if I go here to put his price tag on him, like, obviously, 300 is well above. But if I, I did this earlier, I could get, like, 213 or something. Yeah, look, look I can get... Okay, there we go. Uh, 243, he'd be happy with the price tag. So if we were to sell him, we'd be getting a lot of money and I'm not exactly planning on selling him. So um, then lastly, 3-1 uh, win, two for Makoko, one for Timber and Buemo, then get, got one back for Evan. And that was kind of annoying to see him score against me. It was just, just annoying. Speaking of um, <laughs> speaking of Brentford players uh, or uh, former Brentford players, can I... All right, let's just go here. Um, where do I... Okay, part of the reason why I think <laughs> that they're not doing so well. If we go back in time, uh, Ryan Shirky here, 111 million uh, transfer, which is sensational, to PSG. He's very, very good. He, I think he's like in the running for, not like Ballon d'Or, but like one of those awards where it's like, you know, uh, it sends you the inbox item and it's like, um, Harland is up for the award alongside... Mbappe, Ryan Shirky. Oh, here he is. He's at PSG, looking absolutely brilliant at 25 years old. Still got room to grow. He'll be sensational. This is his first season there, of course. Um, 126 appearances, you can see here, um, for Brentford. 23 goals. Then 111 move. Having bought him for 40 million, that's pretty sensational. He really took a jump there, didn't he? Wow. Uh, in production, anyway. Not so much average rating. Anyway, um, I've got to race through these things. I'm so sorry. Um, looking at the squad, uh, average rating, of course, Haaland, Makoko still up there, Max Aaron's up there, some very good performers, good to see Butcher up there in his first season at the club, and Dala up there um, in his first season in the first team picture. Um, we've also got this fella in on the uh, youth intake, five sub potential, he's 16, he's already got great um, physicals, I mean, speed really is all. Um, I've put him into the first team so that I can put him into the like mentoring groups with Harland and Makoko and Bernardo and, and people with great mentality um, or great personalities in the game, I guess. Um, he's already worth a lot. He's wanted by Arsenal and Liverpool. I think United were in there previously as well. Um, the With the training, not the training, the coaches reports every month, um, it said that he's likely to be as good, if not better than Erling Haaland. So... One look for there, maybe if we leave City, we've got to look at him in the future. Anyway, um, as for goals, of course, it's Erling Haaland up the top. But then uh, Makoko's got 23, 12 for Bernardo and Foden, 11 for Carpentero. As I said, 7 for, for Murato. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, then a bunch of people also contributing with 3 or 4 goals uh, to their name. Then Bernardo, 16 assists, 13 for Pereira. Pereira. Per Pereira. Ooh, Foden's got 12. Butcher. Dollar nets, whatever. Anyway, let's get to the game. Uh, let's play leads. Let's hope for some drama. So this is the lineup we're going to go with. It is Edison and goals, back four of Aaron's Araujo, Diaz and Nets, midfield three of Ugarte, Danilo and Silva, the one that's played together the most. Ugarte has been out injured, so he's not fully fit, but hopefully he'll be good for some period. Um, Joshua Kimmich uh, is also back. He's played three or four games um, since coming back from his Achilles injury, um, which saw him out for four months or so. Um, front line is Ndala on the left, Carpenter on the right, Haaland up front. Um, we've just got a couple of people like Foden and Dembele have been injured. Foden has, is only for a couple of days, um, so he should hopefully be back for the game against Monaco, which is only in like three or four days time, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. All right, let's get into it. Obviously, Manchester City are used to having the drama on the final day. It, we've been here before. Uh, speaking of, uh, if I move this way, you can see, you can sort of see in the background, um, the Aguero uh, poster. Shout out to Mazala Designs um, by, I don't know how to say his name, Visa, Visa, Vis. Great. Anyway, uh, sensational. Got it from my birthday. Sensational. Love it. Um, hopefully, we can do that tonight, basically, because, I mean, it, it would just be sensational to knock this out in one year. We haven't, based on the first half of the season, definitely didn't deserve to be in this sort of position where we are in touching distance of the title. Um, of course, we lost heavily, lost 4-0 to Liverpool at uh, the turn of the year um, and, yeah, just haven't been the best side uh, for the for the whole of the season. But if we can get it done, we can get it done and, and, and look, why not, basically? Um, I'd absolutely take it. Um, 
oh, we've just got to hope for it's it sucks to be relying on other people's results like of course manchester city as i mentioned have like had those dramatic um final day finishes with the the qpr game with aston villa last year um but they've always been leading those like leading the league going into those final days to try and um oh, i'm gonna pause i'm just gonna pop the league table on this one as well so we've got the latest scores and we've got the league table oh golf brentford get in there um uh, yeah, they've been leading, so they just have to go out there and win. They don't have to depend on anyone else doing anything. Like, they don't have to depend on Aston Villa and uh, Southampton getting results. So, you know, it's it's a weird position to be in. It's, it's almost like it's less nervous because I'm like, well, I mean, it sort of sucks really. If anything, geez, he flew in there. All right, Danilo wins the ball there. Bernardo now on the ball. Ugarte flying it out to Araujo. Bernardo now on the ball again, back to Araujo. Come on, boys. Get the ball forward. Go forward with it, Max. Max Aaron's on the ball, sprinting forward. Look, you got us up the pitch. That's fine. Let's hope for something out of this. It's taking a while, so maybe there will be a goal at the end of it. Ugarte flings it over towards Joel and Dahler, heads it towards Erling Haaland. Get in there. Missed by the... Who's that? Dan Danilio? Danilio? It, it's... I don't know how to say that. He missed it, though. One of the defenders. Um, so, Ugarte has um, just lobbed the ball over here, looking for Joel and Dala, who wins his header. The two centre-backs just absolutely screw the pooch on that one, and we get our goal. We're up 1-0. Let's see. Oh, nothing for Newcastle or Liverpool yet, which is good news for us. Although, if they draw, we need to rely on goal difference, which I don't think is in our favour. Oh, I think that came off the post, even. The uh, chance there for Sinistera. Um, oh, we would actually jump into the lead. If they both draw, we do win. Oh, okay. I didn't realise that. That makes things exciting. Come on. Come on, Southampton and, and Aston Villa. Oh, my God. That's so weird. Oh, my God. What a, what, what a time. What a last, like, 10 games or so. Oh, boy. Now I'm nervous because we are winning and have nothing. Like, we can't do anything about it. Um, another highlight here with Harlan on the ball, leading a counterattack out to Joel and Dala. Dala towards the byline, gets past his man. Can he find Harlan? He can. 2-0. All right. We are doing our job. We are doing our part of the job. Oh, my days. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is, okay, I don't like this. I shouldn't have done it. Like, I don't want to be in this position. <laughs> as much as, at least if this was, you know, the, the QPR situation or the Aston Villa situation, we'd be set, man. Like, I think we'd be good. But now I'm just, I just have to wait for it to not be a highlight so I can watch to see what happens. And Liverpool have taken the lead. Oh, come on, Southampton. Oh, well, that that dampens things. That guarantees us another season here. I don't even want to talk now. We've got another highlight here, and I'm, I'm just sour. <laughs> it's good to see Brentford winning, though. I think they had gone up 2-0. His Ihi Nacho for Leeds. Oh, he's a cord. You prick. Don't celebrate against City, you prick. You'd be nothing without us. I made that up. He, he's, he's a good footballer, so he'd probably have found a way to do something, but... Come on, mate. Uh, Richards found Sinistera in too much room in between the centre-back and the right-back, and then Ihi and Archer got around the outside. Edison didn't get there. Is what it is. It's 2 damn one Oh, boy, and it's 2 nil for Liverpool. All right. Well, now, now I just want Newcastle to score. And they have. All right. Well, like, at least we're not losing the league title to Liverpool um, on the final day. Oh, and... Southampton have got one back, so that's good for them. But it just sort of makes our game feel useless, doesn't it? Because, well, of course we're going to finish third, aren't we? Unless we lose, I guess. Anyway, we're not, though. It's half-time, basically. Um, and uh, Newcastle are up 2-0. Good for Newcastle. That is great news. I mean, I don't know if they have... I can't remember if they have won in uh, Premier League um, since... Since the takeover, but it's, I mean, it's good to see, basically. And Alexis McAllister getting a goal to seal it there. 
It's pretty sensational. Praying for an absolute miracle now as we go through the second half. I mean, at the end of the day, this is the this is what we expected was for them to win their games and us to just hope, basically. Um, the game that I guess is probably more exciting is the final of the Europa League, which um, I'm pretty sure City lost last season, um, which hopefully doesn't happen, obviously, but, you know, stranger things have happened. I think we've set a record for the most goals scored in a Europa League campaign, which is nice. Carpentero's gone an absolute mile with the ball there. It says brilliant challenge. Looked like a foul to me. In my opinion, um, oh, I saw something for Southampton. I got excited. It's an injury. It's just less meaningful. Um, Leeds, of course, going down as as uh, as things stand. We've got hired people, which will make those changes shortly, so that we can have fit people for the final. I guess. Um, yeah, we'll make those changes now. Uh, stop it. Um, Ndala can come off. Or Smith Rowe, Makoko can come on. Bernardo can come off for Jack Grealish. Uh, don't really care about Max Aaron's getting tired. Like I prefer to change over like Timber for Diaz so that we have Diaz fit for the final, you know? Anyway, it's in three days time. It's shocking. Shocking scheduling, but here's what it damn is. McAllis has missed a second penalty, so that's maybe that's the momentum starter for Aston Villa. I'm really clutching at things now, right? Uh, what is it? Jesus, this is broken. All right, yeah, still 2-0 to Newcastle, which, look, as I said, if we are losing it, or if one of them is winning it on the final day, I'm glad it's Newcastle as things stand anyway. Nothing else is happening in their games. All right, this is a non-event. Let's hope now. All right, I am going to make that change with Max Aarons because I don't want him to... Like, I want him available, I guess. I don't know. Um... Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a known event the rest of the match because um, it doesn't really matter what we do. We need results elsewhere, which are now gone, apparently, which aren't happening. Smith Rowe with a free kick here towards Ugarte, hits the bar. Grealish gets a tap in. It's 3-1. All right, we'll take that. Third goal of the season for Jack Grealish, who's leaving the club, of course, at the end of this season. Um, uh, his contract's running out. We're gonna, there's going to be changes in the offseason, obviously. Um, we've got to get rid of, like... Grealish is going, which is like 300 grand a week, which is good. Um, Smith Rowe, I don't want anymore. Uh, I don't want uh, Usman Dembele in the squad. He's been injured most of the season, and, you know, that's about it. Um, another highlight here, Grealish on the edge of the box, back to Ugarte, Danilo, back to Ugarte, Carpentero has a go. Save, good save by Woodman there. Um, Carpentero's been a surprise. I, like I, He was definitely out. Um, it, one that I just had is like a, you know, not like a backup, but like he was just, you know, to get minutes here and there. Um, but he he's performed, and like why wouldn't I play him? Especially, I mean, injuries too, uh, as I was saying, those in Dembele have meant that Carpenter has got a lot more opportunity, but then he started to take those opportunities. So why don't I use him more, you know? So it's meant that he's got to play more than he would have even with the injury because he's been good. I mean, he's up to seven or eight goals in the season, I can't remember. Here's another highlight. It is... Uh, okay, I thought that was going to be penalty. I was waiting for the penalty call. Um, news in the other games. Uh, there isn't any. That's the news. Still 2-1 to Liverpool. Still 2-0 to Newcastle. There's a siren going off in the background. And we are going to be here a second season. Liverpool has scored again. Aston Villa haven't scored. So Newcastle have won themselves a nice little league. Which is sensational for them. Um... Kind of sucks that we're... Like, it would have been great to finish it in one year and then move on, but at least we get to actually do things now, I guess. Anyway, that, <laughs> give me two seconds. I'll skip forward to the lineup for the game against Monaco. So, this is the lineup we are going to go with. Uh, actually, before that, um, firstly, uh, yes, Manchester City did lose the Europa League final last year. They lost 2-1 to uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Of course, that was before we've taken over from uh, Max Allegri, it was. Um, and then uh, the second thing, uh, Newcastle, that's their first league title since 1928. So, 101 years ago. So, pretty sensational for them. Um, that's I'm ecstatic for that. Like, it's so much better than Liverpool getting one, um, which would be just boring. This is the lineup though. It's Edison in goals, back four of uh, Bradley, Diaz, Timber, and Butcher. Midfield three is 
I mean, Ugarte holding, Mazala is silver, Kimmich is back starting, which is fantastic news. Foden's on the right, Pereira on the left, and Haaland is starting up front against Monaco. Let's goddamn do it. I would love to finish the season with just another bit of silverware. So we've won two, two Champions Leagues and a Serie A with, um, with Napoli, and then we've come to Manchester City, finished third, um, which, you know, is decent, I think. I, a, a team that had finished sixth two years running, and then we've come in, not made substantial changes, um, basically because we haven't been able to. I've just skipped the lineup, sorry, but because um, <laughs> we haven't been able to make huge changes, but um, all we've done is been positive, changed the tactics into our pretty un pretty pretty sensational and pretty uh, overpowered 4-3-3 with the uh, with a little halfback um and, and taking them from yeah sixth sixth to third all right let's change this to what do we want this one to be sorry pause this what do we want this one to be i can i can't remember what we usually have this on let's have this on our formation and this one could be the visualizer i don't know that'll do whatever doesn't really matter does anybody care I don't know, maybe it's useful to someone. Let me know, obviously. Let me know if you care about what's up there. Let me know and I'll, I'll change it, sure. Whatever. Um, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, it's been it's been a good season. I'm hoping to end it with some silverware here. Um, just need to get it done, son. Just need to perform, which they did not do last season. As I said, 2-1 lost to uh, Munch and Gladbach. Gladbach, though, have won league titles, so maybe it isn't that uh, horrific. This is a very much changed Monaco side. I mean, you can see Kovacic was there. Um, there was someone else with, oh, ball over the top from Kimmich to Haaland. It's 1-0, his 49th goal of the season puts us ahead in the Europa League final. That's sensational. I mean, obviously it's not the, the European title that City want to be winning, but you'd take it over not winning anything. Um, good ball over the top from Kimmich. Wouldn't it have been if we had had him for that like four month stretch uh, where he was out with his um, Achilles injury? I wonder how different it would have been. Not that I mean, obviously we've done well in that um, that period, but you know maybe it would have been even better. Maybe we would have been better off against Liverpool. I mean, we lost four nil and they were sense we were terrible. They absolutely battered us. So maybe Kimmich wouldn't have thirty four year old Kimmich or however I don't know how it is. However, all is Kimmich wouldn't have changed anything. But uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Kovacic is here. Um, Nicholas Jackson um, from Villarreal is here. Um, their striker was someone weird. Um, oh, and Naziri. Um, Benjamin Pavard is their right back. Uh, Edison gathers that one oddly. Don't know why he's done that. But we've got a highlight here. <laughs> cricket, cricket style bowls it out to uh, Butcher. Good ball from Yukate for Bernardo. We're getting a little bit of lag for some reason. Bradley then plays the ball for Foden. He's got Haaland in the box. Cuts back. He finds Pereira instead. It's 2-0. Get in there. 23 minutes in. That's about when we went up 2-0 in the Leeds game, I think. I wonder how close that is. Anyway, it's 2-0. That's what matters. We're up 2-0 in the in a final. Silverware is silverware. I'll take it. Um, next season will hopefully be the season that we win the league because um, we'll be able to make changes. As I said, um, we'll I think our budget uh, has been set at about like 200 million pounds. Um, so if we can then sell, uh, like as I said, Smith Rowe, Dembele, um, maybe even one of Murato and um, Ostergaard, like who knows? I mean, we've got a couple of loan players that'll be coming back um, as we've got another highlight here hitting the bar there. Goodness me. And we've got Dennis Simon goals from... From our severe save, of course. Um, what was I saying? Far out. I cannot do this. I cannot remember what I was talking about. Um, something about next year. I don't know. Oh, loan players. Um, one that played at Leeds all season, Fu Hao. He looks very good. Maybe he's still a season away, though. And the same can be said for another midfielder who went out on loan. I can't remember where he went, though. Uh, oh, ooh, they hit the bar there. Um, he went to Troyes, or Troyes uh, in, uh, in France and got relegated. So he didn't have a great time. But he's a Spanish central midfielder. He'll be very good for the advanced playmaker role. Again, probably a year or so off. Um, especially if we can just abuse Kimmich for another year or something along those lines. Here is a corner headed away. Foden retrieves. Brings it back into the box. What can he do? Oh, he hit the bar. Have we hit the bar twice? Ridiculous. Another chance here. Ugarte, edge of the box. Huge save. That is a 
sensational bit of goalkeeping from Dennis Simon. As we know, he is a, he's a, a, a very good on football manager, is uh, Dennis Simon. All right. Sessegnon. Which Sessegnon is that? Is that... Isn't it like a Stefan Sessegnon or something? Or is that Ryan Sessegnon? I would know if I didn't skip their lineup too. Ew, whoops. Um, but we're about to be half time here. It's getting very hot in this room, so I'm very glad. Because I'd like this to be over and us to be talking about next season and thinking about what the plans are, basically. Um, all right, let's go with... Let's... That's as... You're doing brilliantly. I'm not even going to shake any fists. Nothing like that. Straight into the second half. They are doing brilliantly. We're up 2-0 in a final. Oh boy, come on, sons. I just want the second half to just... Sh sh let's just get through it, Ben. Let's just get through it. I just want to get to the second... To the... I just want to get to the transfer window and be able to do things. Because um, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. Good cross that by Jeebus. That was a great cross from Mickey Bradley in towards Perea. Um, Perea is another sort of potential one to be moving on. Um, between him and Ndala... Um, and Dala is trained by the club and doing decently. So, I mean, I don't want to get rid of him. So, I'd get rid of Perea and... Oh, Foden nearly picks out the top corner. Um, I'd get rid of Perea and get in, like, a superstar left winger. Like a... I don't know. It's a, the, the Vinny Jr. But, you know, Vinny Jr. would now be, like, 28, 29 or something. Because we're in season 28, 29, actually. So, it's someone of that quality, but hopefully not that old but then it doesn't matter because i've only got one season here in theory uh, as long as we win there's only one more season here so i could buy anyone it doesn't really matter um i could buy someone who's 36 i don't know i don't care as long as they're good and they win me a league title in a season all that matters having said that i probably won't sign anyone old like because that's just how it works it's football manager you don't buy people that are old that's how it works um you keep people that are old and they're performing like kimmick silver uh, Diaz is now 31, Edison's now 30, uh, 50, I don't know. So we've taken off, um, Ugarte was getting a bit tired, so we're taking him off. Um, I'm thinking maybe we take off, do we have a Luka Nets? No, we don't. Oh, yes, we do. There he is. All right, let's bring on Luka Nets for Bucha. Uh, and then I'll think about, like, the attacking changes for the next ones, basically. All right, two changes made. Let's carry on. Has been a very good season, I think, um, as, oh yeah, they've given us a, let's take Haaland off, why not? Um... And then I'll, in like 10 minutes or so, take off, I don't know, Kimmich and Perea or something. It's very surprising how, just how well we have done, really. Like, I didn't expect to be able to make that much of a difference, especially when all we've done is bring in new wide backs. I haven't, you know, reinvented the wheel or anything. I've just used what we already have in Makoko and Haaland and uh, Bowden, who's been sensational, and so is... Um, Bernardo Silva's been very, very good all season. Um, we're taking Kimmich off there, and we'll take off... Let's take off Foden and give Carpentero a run out in the final. Why not? Why god dang not? We're up 2-0 with 18 minutes to go. We should be right from here. All right. Let's hit a praise. Hope that we can get people vibing. <laughs> get people happy, smiling, having a great time, kicking back, relaxing, maxing, all cool, all those things. 10 minutes to go. Go on, sons. Go on, sons. They have Gravenberg? What's happening? What has happened to this Monaco side? Hopefully they have won things. I hope PSG haven't just won every year. That'd be boring. Maybe Monaco is where we go when we go. Because I'm not... For the season when we do have to go to France and win Ligue 1, or the team that we have to go to, it's not going to be PSG. I know that much. Even if PSG haven't won a league title in the... All right, well, that's not good. If, if it were to be that PSG hadn't won a title in the entire, uh, what, seven seasons so far, um, I I don't care. I'm not going to PSG. Like uh, Manchester City, I'm fine with because I'm a fan of Manchester City. Um, like, I'm happy to get them one. All right, let's go with that. Um, yeah, I'm happy to take them over. And they were down in sixth. It makes sense they do need a bit of rejigging and, and, you know, help turning things around as Pembele gets the goal there from a Benzegir corner with four minutes of added time left to go. We've gone to very much time wasting. I don't want extra time. Don't want any of that. Oh, there's a highlight. Edison pumps it long. Header one by Gravenberg. Pedro Gonzalez. There's someone drilling something in the background. Um, 
yeah, I'll take I'll take on Leon. I'll take on Monaco, Marseille. I don't care. Just not. I'm not taking on PSG because I just with a passion hate PSG. Bradley with the ball, getting into the box, penalty surely. All right, we've been awarded a penalty with a minute to go. All right, don't care anymore. Bernardo Silva is going to take the corner. Thirty, uh, how the thirty-eight-year-old Bernardo Silva? I don't know how old he is. Can't remember. Thirty-four maybe. Bernardo saved. Don't care. We waste like a, a good minute with that, and we've got a corner. So don't really care. Take as long as you want, mate. Take all day. Just as long as the referee knows how to blow his whistle. That's all that matters to me. Lucanets, he's taking a good 20 seconds here. Swings it in towards no one. Gromberg heads it away. Referee, blow your whistle, please. Number one. All right, we win the Europa League. We've added another trophy to our uh, repertoire. A beautiful um, mohawked repertoire. Erling Haaland gets to lift a Europa League, which I'm sure he's very, very proud of. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, something weird happened there. We didn't get to see the trophy lift, but there it is. We've won Europa League. That's a pretty good result. Third place finish, Europa League winners. We'll take that on to next season. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. Make sure you do leave that like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Comment what you think of the video, what you think we should do next season, all of the things. Um, and I'll see you next time with hopefully some good transfer news. Peace. Peace.